In this video, we're going to show you how to make the finger puppets that are in this free pattern. Be sure to download it on our website. We'll give you the link down below. When I cut this little bunny out, I used a lot of pins so that the uh, pattern wouldn't slip. I want to get just as an exact cut as I can. Now I have the ear color and I'm using embroidery floss three strands knotted at one end and I'm just going to do a whip stitch. Uh, it matches the hair, the ear color and what I want to do is make sure the stitches are completely uh, perpendicular to that outside edge and it will give it a look of a blanket stitch uh, without uh, hassling that extra part of the blanket stitch which we will show on the outside of the bunny. I do use a blanket stitch. All of this can be done on the machine as well, a zigzag or if your machine does a machine blanket stitch it looks pretty cool. I really like the richness of the hand stitching. It doesn't take long to do it in front of the TV or while you're waiting for an appointment and they just turn out so cool looking. So I'm going to do that to both of the ear colors and I will do it to now the muzzle. I've whip stitched around the outside of his little muzzle just leaving a little opening where I'm going to add some batting stuffing just make that snout a little more dimensional and then I'll finish whip stitching the opening closed. Now I've got the second layer of just the bottom feet. It kind of ends here um, and it makes it stronger and I can add a little stuffing but I'm going to blanket stitch around the outside. Now the blanket st stitch is very similar to this whip stitch however there's just an extra step so as I come around and there's a loop I put the needle through that loop and then as I go it, it holds the stitches on both sides perpendicular to that to the edge which looks really cool and you want to be uniform in how deep you make that stitch from the edge and how far apart but it just looks cool when it's done so go through the hoop the loop and you see how it holds it the stitches like this perpendicular and just looks way way cool and this takes a little more time but it looks so beautiful these little rabbits turn out so cute and I'm going to go all the way around now I'm going to put the the back part on this bunny the finger puppet part and then I'm going to whip stitch all not whip stitch blanket stitch all the way around this part and I blanket stitched across this part and I've added a little stuffing and then I'm going to put just a little bit of glue under those uh, the edge of these feet and you can add stuffing in the arms and in the head if you like or keep them a little more flat he just now turns out they're done be sure to use a lot of color in them and then be sure to watch the video that shows how to make the carrier for our finger puppets this darling carrot and the video should really help you be sure to download your free pattern